This is from NFL.com. One thing to watch for in preseason week one. So that's this week, even though it's Brown's second game. With Marquise Goodwin sidelined with blood clots, the remaining wide receiver jobs behind Elijah Moore, Amari Cooper, and Donovan Peoples-Jones are up for grabs. Cedric Tillman, David Bell figure to have great chances to earn the fourth spot. Um, but if the Browns want to replace Goodwin's speed, it could be a battle coming down between Anthony Schwartz and Jalen Darden. Um, when you look at uh, the guys that are fighting for that spot, you know, four and five and maybe even six, um, who do you think kind of is intriguing? Yeah, you know, I, I don't mean this in a, in a mean way, but Anthony Schwartz, I think if he didn't have the, you know, top 100 pick draft capital, probably wouldn't even be on the roster anymore, frankly. Maybe that's taking it a little bit too far. He obviously is a special athlete, but I remember him coming out of Auburn in college, and he kind of just knew how to run super fast, get open in an Auburn offense, and, and there really wasn't much nuance to his game. And it just kind of seems like that's still the case. There are some mistakes and mental mishaps here and there that certainly don't help his case anymore. You know, Jalen Darden obviously did not stick on in Tampa, had a quick run there. You look back at his career in North Texas, though, all the guy did was produce at an insane, insane clip. Maybe a change of scenery, getting on a little bit of, you know, obviously Tampa's depth chart was super deep there. You, you give him a, a new start in a new offense, a new situation. I'm intrigued to see what we could get out of a new Jalen Darden. I saw on there he got injured in camp, um, but I think a healthy Jalen Darden could be an interesting piece of this offense. When you see Cedric Tillman, what do you see as well? That It just looks like it's a guy, and I, it, I keep going back to NFL bloodlines. He just looks like he understands how to play the position at the NFL level. Yeah, you know, I think some of that stuff is true, and the nuances of the game and the little details that you can't overlook that do matter, especially if you're trying to play a rookie in a pivotal season. You know, he's an older player, too, so I think he has learned a lot. Obviously, people talk about Tennessee's offense and all those things, but I think he, because of his experience and the amount of time he's played at a high level in SEC football, I think he has added a lot of those elements to his game. For me, I think as a rookie, where you see him come in is you're going to get, obviously, the downfield, go up and get it, contested catch type player if there is an injury to a donovan people's jones i think he really is stylistically a pretty seamless fit obviously you know donovan people's jones deserves credit for all he's done how good he was last year a fringe 1000 yard receiver not saying it's going to be a seamless one-to-one -one transition but from a role standpoint downfield you know jump ball target type player i think we see some of that early on from cedric tillman at least as a rookie